Hello Aries, it is 4.44 a.m. So 4.44 reminds me of Aries because 4 is obviously the the ruler. So I decided to do you guys next. This is your bonus reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising for February 2014. Ah, this one wants to go, so I'm going to push it King of Cups. King, so, you're in your emotions right now. Now, this could be you, because kings, um, kings a lot of the time show up as ourselves. Or it could be you're dealing with a um, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio water sign. So, but this is a good card. Like, um, the King of Cups is fully aware of his emotions, he's kind, he's loving, so this could be yourself feeling um, very emotionally fulfilled at this time, or it could be you dealing with um, a water sign and feeling emotionally fulfilled, really happy. So today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, so, what is this King of Cups about? Tell us more about this King of Cups for Aries. The cards are feeling very heavy. For you, it's almost like it's not wanting to give me anything. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's trying to sneak away. So, this popped and landed in the middle, upside down, um, opposite way. So, the Ten of Swords is... It's like you're at rock bottom in your mind. So maybe that it's about this water sign or maybe it's about yourself and the emotions you have towards someone. It could be either or. So um, whatever's going on in your mind, whatever's going on, you've just been confused. You've just been worn out. You've just been emotionally like... <laughs> Um, or mentally, I mean mentally, mentally drained. You've been running yourself all over in your mind and not really coming to a good conclusion. But you're, you're coming out of that energy at this time. You're close to the shoreline. You're close to getting um, out of this shitty energy. And you've been working towards something diligently. But your mind is just fucking you up. Like, your mind is fucking you up at work or fucking you up at, in, at your home. Something. Because pinnacles are all about, you know, earthly things, this realm, physical, whatever. So it's like, something is going on with you where you need to just get away, sail away, take a drive, stop thinking, let that shit go. Because it's just fucking you up. It's fucking up. You've been working really hard and it's just like... Whatever you're working towards, like, you can't get finished because you're still in your mind. Cool. The lovers reverse with the Ten of Cups. So, for me, this is saying, like, this isn't, it, it has to do with your relationship is what I'm feeling. You have this relationship going on, and your mind has been putting all these fucking ideas in your head, and you've been working towards this relationship, or maybe you've been avoiding the relationship with work, and this relationship is good for you. It's going to bring you happiness, and you're just making up shit in your mind that you that's not necessarily true. So, I'm feeling like this King of Cups is the other person. Like, there's something you need to break away from. You need to tear down your own walls, Aries. You need to tear down these expectations that you're putting on this other person. And it's almost like I'm hearing, like, or seeing, like, 
a bunch of, oops, a bunch of people in your head, like, whispering, like, rumors, and you have too many people in your ear right now, and this is a really happy card, too, this is, like, your, um, fulfillment of desires, passions, emotions, not emotions, I'm sorry, desires and passions, and love, but it's, um, it's, like, getting what you want, but it's reversed, so it's, like, you should be celebrating, but you're not. You should be happy, but you're not. And I think it just has everything to do with yourself. Like, stop, let go of this mind thing that you have going on. Mm. Let's see what else. Can we clarify on this lover's card for Aries? This is Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. So you're the page of wands. So it's like uh, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Oh, okay. So what do we have here? Oh, okay. So you have the Hierophant with the Five of Swords. So, the Hierophant is all about being in control of a group or a leader in some aspect. Maybe you're the leader of your group of friends. Maybe you're the leader of your company. Maybe you're the leader of, um, you, you're the leader of something, but you're not leading right now. You're fighting in maybe like guy looks really smug in this five of swords thing it's like he's stolen the sword or beat them and sometimes winning isn't really worth all of the shit that like it's not worth it whatever you're fighting for right now it's not worth it it's a waste um you're it's almost like with this page of wands coming out right before it it's almost like you are not getting something accomplished. You are not taking the steps you need to to move forward in this relationship because and this doesn't always have to be with another person. This could be a relationship. You, this could be a friendship. This could be how you feel about yourself. But it's coming to me like it's a relationship or a person that you've been seeing. But um, it could be anything. It resonates different for different people. But wherever you're supposed to lead people you're more fighting with them and in this ego battle with yourself and this empress card is with the judgment and popped with these other two so it's like your home isn't comfortable your house your works your relationship isn't comfortable it's almost like a stuffy energy right now I'm feeling it's like it's time to blow this horn. It's time to wake the fuck up. It's time to look at yourself clearly. It's time to judge yourself. It's time to see yourself for who you truly are. Um, and put your ego away. And put the walls away. And put these ideas away that are stopping you from this journey you're trying to take. And it's almost like a journey of self-discovery. A journey of love. A journey of... Um... A journey of like I'm self discovery of discovery of a relationship of real love of happiness of something. It's like there's just you you have happiness here, but it's just like you are in your own fucking way. Let's see what other ones we have for this. Ooh. Ace of Wands. So there's an opportunity that's going to be presented to you. Um, sorry. Your nose is a G. Ooh, what does it mean when your nose itches? No, look that up. It's and then you have three cards that just fell over the tower. Ooh. Oh, so the King of Swords with this Five of Pentacles. So your mind is causing this feeling of 
coldness. It's like it came with these ones, and they fell right over top of the tower. So, and the tower is right beside this card, but they fell directly on the tower. So I feel like almost like these are like mirroring each other, almost like this. Like you, it could be like this if you just jumped out the window and or ripped down this. Like the tower is like this impeding moment of, or this impending moment of like devastation and ruin, but it could be a good thing. Like it could be like you seeing yourself clearly for the first time and realizing that you've been in your own way the whole time or that you've been the problem in all of this. And with these three, I'm just feeling like where you're supposed to be having just and just and um, fairness, there's no just or fairness here. There's a feeling of coldness, left out in the cold, not having enough fear, scarcity. And the Page of Swords says like, it's over you not going or you not speaking your mind you not using the sword on the battlefield yet you haven't used it so you haven't so you're scared to um the page of wands is like she has her sword ready but she's never used it so this is about using your actual sword and Almost like, mm, splitting whatever this is going on in half to kind of open it up and see what's in there. Like, cutting something open and like ripping it apart to figure out what's in it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like, or like speaking your mind. It's time to like stand up for what you believe in. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's clarify this page of swords. Okay. Mm. So you have the high priestess reversed with the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So something in the subconscious realm, something that, there's something that needs to surface that hasn't surfaced yet. And there's a feeling of like, where you should be happy and emotionally fulfilled and in this abundant energy you're feeling like you need to protect yourself or you're feeling like there's not enough and you're feeling like frightened when your fears might be something that's like not necessarily real it could be but like I'm feeling in my head like it's like almost like mm, like you're trying to protect things that are yours you're trying to protect your ideas or you're trying to protect money by saving so much of it but it's like you're like this right and if you would just open your hand a little bit like spirit could put some more shit in it but you're like, no, I have to control this. It's my way or no way. And nobody is going to tell me how to do my shit. And everyone can just go suck my dick and fuck off. And I'm not going to fucking listen. It's like, if you just open it a little bit, like she can put something or spirit can put something extra in it. And just, if you trust a little bit, if you open up a little bit, I'm almost seeing like a, like a pistachio like in my mind like that needs like cracked open like I'm thinking of like the snooky can um the peanut 
tanning bed commercial where it's like she's like cracking open the peanut and they have all those weird commercials um for that pistachio company um a lot it has like a lime green writing on it. i don't remember which pistachio but those are the most famous ones but that's what i'm seeing i don't know why if that has any relevance to you um it's like i don't know when i think of the tanning bed i think of like the sun and the sun is about to shine on you and crack your little peanut shell but very little pistachio. Ooh. Ooh. So, the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could be dealing with Capricorn. Mm. But it seems like she's gonna break you open, or or he. So just a just an Earth sign uh, that they're gonna maybe crack open your heart and show you. Um, some self love, and two with this uh, page of swords and king of swords reversed. Those could even be like you could be dealing with an air sign with those. So maybe that um, page of swords is like you dealing with someone, and maybe they're dealing with, or you're dealing with um, an air sign, not an air. I'm sorry. Swords, yeah, swords are air. So Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. You could be dealing with somebody who just is not listening to your ideas, not listening to you, or it could be um, or this page of ones could also be like somebody else too. But I think those ones were more you. I'm feeling like this last one, this earth energy is more like relationship and I don't know how I know these things it's just a feeling so if it's resonating cool take it if it's not I'm sorry but there is a offer of love that you're just refusing to take an offer of emotional fulfillment and happiness and you're just refusing to see that so um yeah let me um pull a couple cards from the rebel deck so can you clarify this last the square of cups please what do we got here you look like a shit show you're a hot mess fact clean yourself up so <laughs> yep that's what popped immediately so um yeah you're definitely going through some shit you're definitely taking it out on other people maybe and you're not seeing things clearly at this time so just move out of that mind thing you have going on take time to meditate take time to figure yourself out judge yourself clearly because happiness is standing right at your fucking door and you're just refusing to see the love there. So, <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Aries. I hope you get your shit worked out. Love you. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know what you think of this reading. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in March.